Buffalo sports fans, Chris Terrell here with DFSR.com, as well as my own Patreon site, patreon.com slash Jagerbombs. I'm going to be bringing you another DFS NBA sheet here for Wednesday, February 3rd. We're going to be looking mostly at some prize picks plays for tonight, some promotions going on there, but we will look at some DraftKings and FanDuel plays we like as well, some injuries that have come in, some injuries, some things we're maybe waiting on here, um, you know, leading up to lock. So let's dive right in. Um, actually, before we get started, let me tell you where you can find my content, my cheat sheets. So first of all, you can head over to my Patreon. Like I said, patreon.com slash Jagerbombs for $5 a month. Um, you'll get one sport. For $10 a month, you'll get all sports. That's $7 Canadian for one sport, thirteen fifty Canadian for all sports. Right now, I'm covering NHL, college basketball, League of Legends is coming back soon. PGA, soccer, UFC, Baseball will be back uh, in the spring here, March, April. Uh, might be covering KBO again. Then we got NBA, college football's over for the season. NFL, we got the Super Bowl left, and then NASCAR's coming back here in a couple weeks. That also gives you access to my Slack chat. Um, I have a specific channel set up for each individual sport where I share information, um, some nice things going on, injuries, uh, news, stats. Pretty much anything like that. And the same goes over here at DFSR.com. If you come over to the sales page here for $14.95, you get the classic plan. It's going to give you access to um, basic stats for the DFSR platform. You're going to get my cheat sheets. You're going to get access to the member's chat room. Upgrade to the pro plan, $29.95 a month. It's going to give you everything I said there, as well as our projections and our lineup optimizer slash player lab. So two different options to go ahead and get my content. Uh, with that out of the way, let's just jump right in here. Uh, let's look at a few games. Uh, Indy Milwaukee's got a high total today, 232. Indy is on a back-to-back. -back. Then we've got Washington at Miami, a uh, 229.5 total. Um, these haven't been fully updated. I will have another odds update coming in here before lock. Washington's on a back-to-back -back here. So as we know, we're probably not going to have... Actually, he's already been ruled out, Russell Westbrook. Um, and then the 227 total last game of the night, we've got Boston on a back-to-back -back in Sacramento. So um, let's dive in, look at a few picks here. So you're going to find my picks every day on the All Players tab. Um, so a couple that stand out. Green are going to be like core plays for me. Blue, secondary, slash GPP plays. Yellow are going to be value plays. So some things I look at on the basketball sheet once I dive in and I narrow down what teams I'm maybe targeting. Um, I've maybe written down some injury uh, news that we, you know, that may lead to some extra usage for players uh, I'm going to be targeting. We're going to dive into those stats here. Let's look at some of those injuries right off the bat. Talked about Bradley Beal. He's right here at the top as a core play. Westbrook is out. We know that on a back-to-back. -back. Uh, Nito is also out, so they're going to be a little bit short on guards. So I'm definitely a fan of Bradley Beal here tonight um, as well. If you scroll down to the bottom here, you're going to see where is he. Yeah, he's pretty cheap. So it's an excellent value down here tonight uh, with Ish Smith. 4,600 on FanDuel and 4,800 on DK. I've got him in here for 30 minutes right now, and he's over 5.5x value on both sides. A little bit better here on FanDuel, but he's going to be in play on both sides. That game, Washington's on a back-to-back, -back, so the trouble here is going to be keeping the game close, maybe even keeping Beal interested in the game. As you remember from games ago, um, he was sitting on the bench not really wanting to be a part of the, of the huddle. But if the game can stay close, Ish Smith is probably going to be the cash play Beal. I'm probably going to end up leaning a little bit more on the GPP side of things just to kind of maybe avoid that risk of a possible blowout where we can get um, that 5-6x to six X either way, I think, with Ish Smith, whether it turns into a blowout in the fourth quarter or not. And as we see with Miami, they're ranked 11th versus guards. Um, a little bit down pace, but Miami's defense defensively has there been a little bit below average, so I am fine with Ish Smith here and Bradley Beal. Like I said, Beal's probably going to be a little bit more of a GPP play for me, but if you wanted to spend up, there is a lot of value here. I think we can go with Beal with the extra usage that he gets with Westbrook off. So going into San Antonio next, um, Aldridge and Gay are both out, so down in the forward position, that's going to leave them a little bit thin. I really like Keldon Johnson here. Um, find him on the sheet. Scroll down here and we'll look at that. Yeah, another nice value. 5,700 on FanDuel. He hasn't gotten the bump in the system here yet. Uh, 6,100 on DK. I think he's going to be in play. They're 8.5 point favorites. 224 total. 
Uh, he's already averaging 31 minutes per game. I could see him getting in the 33 to 35 minutes with those guys off the floor. A little bit extra usage. It's a little bit tougher of a matchup for the forwards against Minnesota, but it is um, in terms of overall defensive efficiency, Minnesota is below average, uh, negative 2.7 points per 100 possessions, less than the league average. And it is a pace-up game. Um, Minnesota is, they give up more possessions per um, per 60 or per 48 minutes than average here as well. So he checks two of those boxes, three of those boxes actually with the injuries. So I definitely like Keldon Johnson. And then as we scroll up here, I think uh, DeMar DeRozan and uh, DeJunte Murray are both in play here as well. I like Murray a little bit more. He's a little bit cheaper. Um, price difference here, $300 less on FanDuel and $500 less on DraftKings. I will definitely lean to uh, Murray over DeRozan here. Probably going to switch up DeRozan and just go with like a GPP play for him. Another spend up, I like uh, Hayward here. We've got uh, Charlotte. So yeah, PJ Washington is out, but Razier is questionable again. Um, I do like Hayward. He seems a little bit underpriced. He probably should be more in the high sevens, low 8K range uh, with the performance that he's put out so far this year. So that's why his points per dollar projection is 5.4x on FanDuel, 5.7x on DK. Uh, and if Rozier is out again, um, we're going to have to give a bump to LaMelo Ball if he gets another start. He kind of let us down last game. He was only he was limited to 31 minutes, and that's just because he got into foul trouble. Um, you know, if he doesn't get into that foul trouble, he's probably seeing 34 or 35 minutes. We're not worrying about him hitting value there. Uh, Carter's still up for Chicago. I like Markinen. A um, little bit below 5x here. Um, Ball, keep in mind that that will be updated if he is not starting those minutes there for him. And then another injury, um, Shea Gilgis Alexander is out. Um, so we got another value bump again to Delio. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, Diallo, whatever. And uh, Maladon there. So we got a little bit there. In terms of Cleveland, Nance is out. Drummond is questionable, so we're going to have to watch that. That's one we're going to have to watch leading up to lock here. Um, but that'll be another bump to Allen if he is out. He crushed uh, in a start last game with Drummond out. And then uh, we also have Prince, if he starts again, is going to be a nice value down here as well. Um, we've got him at 32 minutes in the start right now. His best value is going to probably be over here on DK, but he's definitely in play. Cody Zeller's been crushing. The only thing I don't like here, I love the price, is the matchup. Um, Embiid is really, you know, he's going up against Embiid. They're number one against centers. But it is a little bit of a pace-up matchup. And just he's just probably about $1,000 too cheap for the performances he has put in here as well. So those are a few plays for DraftKings. And I guess Boston is another one. We've got Smart and Kemba. They're both out. Um, so that's a good... Probably see some Teague value. I don't think we need to go there in cash, but Teague could definitely uh, see a boost here tonight. What I really do like with Boston is targeting Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. They're going to get uh, pretty much all the usage. They're probably both going to be in the 25 to 30% usage tonight. Um, so I definitely like that in this matchup um, versus Sacramento. So now we're going to talk prize picks here. And as you've probably seen in just over here, um, we've got a... Promotion here tonight for prize picks. If you play a five pick flex play, all NBA players. Um, so I'm going to show you what that looks like here in a minute. You're going to get a 1.25x payout boost, um, obviously, if you win. So what that's going to look like, I'm going to talk about some prize picks plays here first. I've added a new tab to the cheat sheet. So what we've got here on the cheat sheet is the player, my pick, um, the prize, prize picks projection, my own projection, the difference between them, the combined projection, which is uh, multiple other sites. I take DFSR, I take a couple other sites, and I kind of mash a bunch of projections together to give like an average. Um, I wanted to compare that with my own projection because my own projections don't take into account. They're just beta mode. They're, they're, they don't take into account Vegas. They don't take into account matchup. They're just simply taking into account season-long projections broken down into per minute projections and then of course I adjust the minutes as the day goes on with injury news coming in stuff like that so it's just a basic projection so I wanted to mash in a couple other sites that go much deeper into projections DFSR is one of them um, they only look at minutes but I, I help with the back end system and I can tell you firsthand that we look at 
I don't know, probably 20 plus things, 20 plus different factors in there. And one little change, one one player out or one player limited changes the whole build. So keep that in mind when you're looking at these projections. Um, so the differential columns are kind of what I'm looking at. I highlight in green here if there's a plus minus of three. And then I start digging into those players a little bit more. We've got Vegas line, Vegas total, opponent defensive efficiency, um, opponent versus defense, that is fantasy points versus position, and then opponent pace. So a few that I like here tonight, um, first of all, I talked about uh, Murray down here. I like his over, uh, he is over on both projection sites I'm looking at and the difference. And what I like here, he hits on three things for me, four things actually. So a little bit more usage with LMA and Gay out. Um, and then it's a plus matchup. He checks the box in opponent defensive efficiency, opponent versus position and pace. So I definitely like Murray over 35 tonight. Um, he has done that in three of his last five games and seven of his last nine. Um, so that's really good there. So that's one I'm looking at. Uh, a couple others. Lamella Ball I mentioned. I'm going over on him again. Uh, he let me down last time in prize picks. That was two nights ago, I believe. I'm going back to that well, hoping that he doesn't get in that foul trouble again. He should easily hit that. Um, looking at the sheet here, yeah, it's a big gap, eight-point gap, looking at him getting about 40 points. I think he was right around that same number, 32 prize picks projection last time, and I think he had like 31.2 at the end of the day. So definitely look in that direction. Jalen Brown, I mentioned. Um, scroll up to the top here a little bit. Looking at the Boston guys, Jalen Brown. I've got him as a bit of an under here, but I'm not taking into account the, the usage bump on my own. Um, whereas the combined projections obviously are, I definitely like that. He hits on, you know, you've got high total facing a bad defense, bad defense versus position in terms of fantasy points, a little below average in terms of pay or above average in terms of pace for the opponent, which I like to see. I like the over on Jalen Brown here. Green are going to be my core plays when you're looking at this. Blue are going to be like my secondary uh, plays that I'm looking at early in the day. And then Closer to lock, I'm going to be jumping into the Slack chat that I showed you. Um, and for the NBA subscribers or the All Sports subscribers on my Patreon, I'm going to have my core plays um, every night. Not every night, but the nights I'm playing, I'll be having a, I mainly play a two-play power play, but then I'm also going to have a five-pick flex play for tonight. I'm going to provide that in chat as well, um, kind of what I'm running tonight. Um, so if you want to see those picks, Definitely get over to patreon.com for five bucks a month. Uh, you'll sign up for NBA or for 10 bucks a month. You get all the sports that I cover. I talked about that in the beginning, or you can go over to dfsr.com for 15 bucks a month. You can get my sheets and access to chat or for 29 95 a month. You can get access to the optimizers for MLB, NBA, PGA, um, NFL, and I missed one NHL um, as well as our projections and stuff over there. Uh, you can get the optimizer for 29 95 a month. So, Thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for checking out the new. Uh, definitely hit me up with some feedback uh, down below in the comment section what you think of the new prize picks, um, the new prize picks tab that I that I got here, things that you want me to add. Definitely let me know in the comment section. Hit like, subscribe, hit the little bell, and you'll get uh, notification when my new videos come out. Thanks a lot, everyone. Let's go get some green screens tonight. Good luck.